Guess who's working today? I know, it's spring. Is it? The spring cleaning. It's 70 degrees today, Kevin. Oh, Is it gonna like flood? 40 to 70. Yeah, we so. can finally, finally get some sun. Yeah. So yeah, so we got the new store. I think we're pretty much done-ish for this remodel. Eventually we can remodel the other rooms. What, what are you putting over here? We're putting board games eventually. We need to hang on, oh, okay. we need to get some hangers. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But you can see the store is mostly complete. We decided still have some organizing to do and it's looking good. I think we are out of space already. We're already looking for like <laughs> places to put stuff because uh, we're at capacity. Once again, we're hoping the remodel would uh, give us all the space we needed, but that is what it is. Yeah. So yeah. Woo. Where, where, what do we got in? You want to go see what we got in? Let's talk about today. Much to this kind of show a store update. Pokemon is going super strong still. We are still selling lots of Pokemon. Um, and we have over dogs over there being obnoxious. Because, of course, when you start the camera, really buttons chirping. Because they want attention. What? What? Yeah, What's you two? And then the good one's asleep. Where are you at? Being, being lazy. Are you lazy, Bruce? So, Did yeah, you? so I, I, we're going to do some day updates again. I'll show you the back. We still need to get the editing computer up and running. And then after this pre-release, the remodel done, pre-release done, I think we'll have some breathing room to start focusing on uh, doing videos and whatnot and start doing daily updates for this. So apologize for everyone for the lack of content, but this is why we've been just really, really just every day getting more and more projects done and out of the way. So... Magic is weird. We have super strong sales right now for things like Brothers War and Phyrexia, but Dominary, Dominary Remastered, and all the sets before that are still really struggling, and Wizards continues to do some weird things with how they're pushing these drops on Amazon, plus now drops on at the distributor level, getting like different draft boosters for 60 bucks a box. Like, I don't get their strategy because they're still in print as far as they're still in the competitive draft season or the competitive standard. So I wouldn't think they'd start blowing out these type of boxes. Um, I don't know. I, it, to me, it just shows that they have way too much product. Yeah. Um, and I don't think that many of these sets are going to get reprinted again, like Kamigawa. Like Kamigawa did have that initial reprint. And it. I, I just really think that Wizard sales wouldn't be affected so much if they would have just focused on continuing to uh, print and, well, I mean, just continue to sell Kamigawa rather than putting out, you know, set after set after set because it yep. still is a beloved set. So that's kind of where we're at. We're in this weird, like, one minute they're cheap, the next minute they're expensive, one minute they're cheap again, and it is just the most confusing market that I've ever been a part of since doing this, you know, for like 10 plus years uh, in the Magic the Gathering uh, market. So, yeah, it's, it's very, very weird. Pokemon, though, is the exact opposite. They've tightened the belt. A lot of these other uh, games have tightened the belt. And you've started to see some pretty good growth and good sales. Well, even where sleeves, stores, right? Yeah, and sleeves, too. They seem to have the right... Like, you don't see these big dumps on sleeves. I know I sound like a broken record talking about this topic. Uh, but that's where we're kind of at with the market. Um, yeah, so we'll be doing a Market Monday video today. Right? Okay, well, I would try to. And then an update, too, for... Uh, the top products I think are good buys for the Rogue Market channel. And then eventually I move all of the market uh, um, talk over to the Rogue Market. And then we're going to focus on um, some brews. I do want to start doing some other content on the Rogue Deck Builder channel uh, with like Pokemon and Flesh and Blood. But last time I did that, people got really pissy with me for it. Like, like I, I guess it's like a, a no-no if you cross over games because people really, really don't dislike that. Well, we'll have to bad. see though. I'm having fun with Pokemon. I want to try Plush and Blood again. I just like to build decks and experiment with different things. And, and uh, you know, sometimes you break for magic. So anyway, let's see what we got in today. What do we got in today? This is gonna be board games. Know. So board games were so we're selling pretty crazy. Besides, uh, I bored, yeah, Easter I weekend, I guess. Yeah, That's Easter weird. weekend's the, the sale, so. You don't sell board games for two months and then all of a sudden. Oh. So, we got a lot of board games in, if you are looking for board games, uh, we can be your go-to, oh. so a lot of kids games, we've just, we've been selling these like crazy, these like little, just kids games, spot it's, and, and whatnot, so they've been selling pretty well, um, 
those are available. Anything else? Uh, I know Star Wars is coming out with a new game called Shatterpoint, which is supposed really? to be very, very popular. I mean, they, they say it's, it's got the most hype of a game in a long time. I have no confidence in any Star Wars games. We've been through I'm this a billion sorry. times. Yeah. Remember, like Star Wars Destiny. Yeah, the remember card these, game, like, dice like, game time, one. I swear Fantasy it was... Flights. I guess it's through someone else this time, but it's like everyone hypes these stupid games up. They, Everyone goes nuts about it. This is the same thing I'm going to say with Arcana, Disney Arcana. Same thing I'm going to say with One Piece. Same thing I'm going to say with all these ones. You guys are crazy with your the the new demand for new games, and then then yes. it seems like everyone goes all in. It gets the speculators going, and the games crash because everyone just they they eat each other. Yep. And we've seen it time and time again with like Force of Will and and uh, uh, Key Forge and what are all these other games? Star Wars Destiny was supposed to kill Magic. There are so many games that were supposed to kill Everything Magic, has... and they they didn't. And I wish games would just like take it slow. What about the and... best one that we're the only ones registered for? Oh, MetaZoo, yeah, MetaZoo Alpha. That's just uh, again uh, uh, a, a big uh, hype thing that you know people think are gonna like everyone jumps the gun is what yep. I'm trying to say. They like okay, this is gonna be the new so. Be careful with Arcana. I have got so much demand for Disney Arcana. Be careful with it. I had like way more demand for Disney Arcana than than uh, I would say Commander Masters, Lord of the Rings, Martian Machines right now like combined is what people want. Same thing like One Piece. People are just salivating over it. And I really think that people should wait. And I know you want to get in on early. So yeah, dip your toes into it. But I don't understand these, you know, ordering cases and yeah. whatnot of these type of stuff with an untested game. That game could be absolute trash. Remember like uh, Dota Arcane or, Arcane or Artifact? The Richard Garfield is supposed to be, the, you know, the, he's going to be the um, Hearthstone killer. Oh, and it yeah. did. It came out the gates like one of the most successful things for a month. And then yeah. no one played it. Careful, guys, with these new things. So that's the same thing I'm going to say about Shatterpoint. I would, you know, of course... If you want to get into it, get into it. But but don't be overpaying for it. Don't be speculating into it. Don't be going in entirely crazy over it. Just, if you want to play the game, play the game. But, yeah, that's my one word of advice. I know a lot of people that are still looking at this collectibles market as something you can invest in and, you know, make uber money if you get in on the new Black Lotus before other people do. So, yeah, anyway, whew, that was kind of a rant here. We got in a restock of finally some game genic products. That's been a long time coming. Sweet. Yeah, this looks like some more little deck boxes here because we're starting to sell 80s to the Pokemon and standard players again. We used to not sell these at all for a long time. And it yeah. looks like Pioneer in like Pokemon and like Commander. The, another thing with Magic, it seems like Commander's on the downturn and uh, 1v1 formats are back on the upturn. So kind of nice. the, the trends of, of the, the, the Magic Gathering gaming world. See what's yep. in this beautiful thing. I think it's some other board games uh, in this one. So, yeah, it looks like we got some camelops and splendors in here, which continue to sell pretty well, and some some dungeons as well. Some dungeons from the good old uh, game Genic in that box. And now this one should be a pretty fun one with just odds and ends. Speaking of which, uh, I'm going to expect to see more sales. And again, I, I'm going to try to keep everyone that are patrons updated on some of these buys. You can think when I, we go into the summer after tax season, I think that tax season is definitely uh, propping up this market. But yes. once the tax returns dry out, we're going to see a really, really bearish market for some of these older products. I think that newer products will continue to sell okay, but older products are going to really uh, struggle. So I went and bought the last five of these that they had. These are now gone at distribution level. They're already approaching 250 bucks for these Ther Theros Beyond Death Collectors Edition. So Jeez. this was just a move that I made last minute. So these are available for purchase. Just reach out to me and I can I can figure out what I can sell them to you for. But they are no longer available to just get at the distribution level. Uh, Scarlet and Violet still selling pretty strong. Uh, this is just a restock of Scarlet and Violet. Um, Sweet. It's you're doing really well. I guess Pokemon is breaking all the records for attendance for both tournaments at the local scene as well as uh, their online platform is doing pretty well. So if you are looking to get into Pokemon, this is a great time to do so. And what else do we have last but not least in here? Um, you guys have to tell me in the comment section what type of content you'd like to see. If you just like us scooping around more or if you like these kind of openings of the product, topic, talking shock. I'm going to try to get more... Uh, Organized on how we do these things in the future. So more, just more dungeons, I think, is what we got. I thought I bought some board games. Oh, oh, yeah, I don't know. I really thought I ordered some board games for me. I thought I was going to try out. Oh, well. I oh, yay, spot it. Yeah, I'll use spot it for your mom. Oh, my gosh. Your mom is going to be 
<laughs> pretty pretty happy about all the all the billion spots all right again though if you are a patron this is stuff you can get you don't have to stick to magic the gathering i like working with you um you know i like fulfilling your needs and and whatnot and it's actually like, like smiling about that it, what, what, what comment? What, what uh, Nothing. Comment you gonna say? I wasn't going to uh, say anything. I said anyway. all the patrons are amazing and awesome. The vast majority. Yes, they are. Okay. I know so I sound condescending. Back. I don't mean to. I meant, yay, that's awesome. We have to get rid of one dog so everyone vote in yep. the comment section which dog we get rid of because. I'm hey, it's of your fault. I'm it's of your fault. Let's get rid of this one right here. Can't Bruce, help! Me. Bruce, help! All right, no one call animal control on us. We love our dogs. Except buttons. Except buttons. All right, see you guys later. Bye.